What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. And we're about to check out The Undertaker's most savage moments. Reason why we're checking this out The Undertaker officially announced his retirement from in ring competition. Uh, it's one of those things where you start to realize how old you're getting. I remember watching The Undertaker as a kid and used to be afraid of him because. He's a dead man, quote unquote dead man, that's out here using lightning and and uh, and using his trickery to scare wrestlers. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the storyline where he pretty much sacrificed Stone Cold. He hung Stone Cold from his uh, Undertaker logo as like a sacrifice, like you know, in a crucified position. Like it was that was scary to me, you know what I'm saying? And then of course his brother Kane was also equally as scary the dude sat up there and tried to kill mankind live on television you know as a kid seeing that you're just like yo this is this is an imposing individual and as you as you got older you appreciated how dedicated he was to the character arguably and i don't think there's no debate this is probably vince mcmahon's greatest character creation because when you think about it the Undertaker was one of those individuals that it didn't matter how many years went by. When you heard the gong and the lights went out, you knew you was in for something. And it was just it's just one of those type of things where he really did a lot for, you know, for the business. And he was always true to his character. He never was the one to break kayfabe. He never really just got to look at mark calloway until recently you know what i'm saying so we're gonna check this out you feel me just so we can just go down memory lane you know and just it's one of those things where at the end of the day we thank the undertaker for putting his body on the line for many many years to entertain us so if you guys got any more undertaker clips that you want me to check out send them to me because I, I definitely want to just check out some more Undertaker clips. Just in just in honor of his legacy and what he left us. You know what I'm saying? And and how he pretty much gave his body up for our entertainment. So we're going to check out some of these clips. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 20K. Let's get into it, man. I remember this. Oh, now when you hear this theme music, the keep rolling rolling on oh, boys, the American Badass Undertaker. Yeah, boys was getting turned. This, this is just I've been here a long damn time. I like this version of the Undertaker. The American Badass, where he actually talked and he was he was a savage, bro. He come down on a motorcycle. Oh, I love this version of the Undertaker. Um, and just when I think I've seen everything. You got to take the cake. You want this man to kiss your ass? I've seen a lot of people come, and I've seen a lot of them go. Hogan, Warrior, Savage, Piper, Brett, Shawn Michaels. But you know what? When it was all said and done, some way or another, they all kissed your ass. Huh? The one that kissed your ass the most was me. What? Bro, this is such so a good JR, turn. This was this such a good turn, you bro. Gonna kiss his ass? Hell no, I'm gonna kiss his ass. <laughs> this is such a good turn. Do you wanna kiss his ass? Oh my Hell god. This, no. <laughs> this is such so a good turn. tell me this. Are you better than is me? That because you're better than me? This was such a good turn. <laughs> this is such a good turn. Are you better than me? This was such a good turn. Drop your pants. What? Now, get over here. Dog, this is such a, this is such a good oh heel God. turn, bro. I get first crack at the young blood. Whoa! Because as the number one contender, I think I need to know: Are you really the next big thing, or the next big bitch? Whoa. This is so good. This is so good. But Deborah, I told you once. This ain't got nothing to do with the wives. But I would like for you to take a message back to Steve for me. Okay, now what is that? 
Bro, he was, he was such a. Mark on you now. He was such an asshole in this character, in this persona. He was such a dick. <laughs> I love it, bro. Women. <laughs> Let me take it with the bandana. Honestly, it was probably the most pain that you've ever felt in your life. I tell you what, why don't you say what if you like to sleep with your own sister? <laughs> <laughs> because while you were scratching and kicking and clawing and screwing oh. your way. <laughs> He's your way to the top of the mountain. He's such a good heel See, too. I was burying people underneath that mountain, making it bigger all the time. He was such a good heel and a good face. <laughs> Your mama sucks. At the it. very least, I figured you would have the guts to say it to my face. This was a, such a good feud, too. Sean, what is it you want me to say? That you're a failure? This is such a good feud. A loser? Their feud between his, their WrestleMania feuds, those two matches, classics, bro. Oh, my God. God, I get goosebumps thinking about those two matches, man. I really wish they would have stayed true to it. And if the, you know, Sean never come back to wrestle. Because it was such a good story. It, it kind of, it, it, it just diminishes the, the meaning of those feuds. But man, bro, such legendary feuds from, for WrestleMania. Or is it that you couldn't get the job done? So good. You need to watch your mouth, rich boy. <laughs> this was a this was a nice little feud too. You don't get to talk about my legacy. You're just like your old man, and it figures. Seeing how from the very day that you were born, you've been your daddy's bitch. This is such a good. I like this feud too. They really didn't expound on it. up a couple of valid points and what I want to know is is this true is it true Ugh. it's true what what it's true it's what this is so good she is a sleazy tramp <laughs> <laughs> that, that I missed this undertaker bro I I'm this. seven foot two. I'm five hundred pounds. Largest athlete in the world today. Of oh, crap, I. David Flair. <laughs> David Flair. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Mind your own damn business. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? <laughs> this is so fucking great. Just <laughs> beating him up. Oh, you can't take this. You want to say anything to your dear old dad? You want to? <laughs> so He's such an asshole. Your ass kid? Hey, don't you have a little brother? No, 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 no. You have a sister, don't you? This is so good. What's it gonna be, Flair? Because I really don't care how far I gotta go. <laughs> this is even so evil. He was so evil, bro. Oh, this is savage. This is savage. <laughs> he was such an asshole, bro. He was such an asshole. Oh, man. Oh, bro. That was crazy, bro. Just a just a little quick compilation, man. Send me some more clips, bro. I definitely would love to check out more of his uh compilations. Blunty just ruined in my video, man. Just you just you're not gonna you're not gonna hush up?
Send me some more clips, y'all. Uh, I would love to check out some more Undertaker uh, clips for the channel, man. Just in remembrance of his legacy and his career and, and all he's done in the business for WWE, man. And we just go down memory lane. That's that's kind of the mood I'm in right now. Because um, honestly, The Undertaker's, if not arguably one of the best, just overall entertainers in wwe history and arguably the best character wwe has ever produced in ring wise so i appreciate all the love and support road to 20k on the way appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace